Hello, love. Welcome back. If you're new, my name is Jennifer Laurel Keller, and I'm an acrylic and mixed media artist and instructor. But what I really do is help people gain creative confidence. Today, I want to talk to you about getting back on the horse when a project doesn't work out the way you envision it to. This happens so often in art making, and if you're a beginner, you might worry that it's just you, but it happens to intermediate and professional artists as well. It happens to all of us, me included. So in this video, I'm going to talk to you about what you can do when this happens to you and how you can get back in the game. And you'll see how I saved my original project here by changing directions so that I was able to get a warm and fuzzy accomplished feeling that only comes from finishing a piece of art. So the project that I had in mind was a Skillshare class. I was gonna call it Fast Flowers or Five Minute Flowers, which I think says it all. Um, so I prepared, but deep down, I felt like my mojo was off. And listen, I'm used to a few nerves right before I film a class. There's a bit of the unknown, which can be a little bit scary, but I've learned that if I just take it step by step, one thing at a time, that I will usually come to love the class and the process. So my thinking was, well, it's spring and I should do a flower class because it's that time of year. So I got started, but I felt a little bit rusty. And let me tell you, I love painting flowers. I've taught several live classes about bouquet painting and I've sold my flower paintings and I absolutely freaking love it. But on this day, I just wasn't feeling it. My paintings weren't coming out fast enough for the five minute flower idea, yet I was rushing and not doing my best job. So I think it was the faster time frame that killed it for me. And then you guys, I lost some footage. So at that point I was like, you know, this is really not working out. And I know many of you can relate. Maybe it's not with filming, but certainly with making art. And this is an important moment in the process. This is the point when you have a choice. You can walk away and feel frustrated and defeated for the rest of the day because you quit your project or you can take a break. And changing your perspective is key. Um, have lunch or grab some water and go outside and take a breath and then come back with fresh eyes. And then once you do come back, you'll have that different perspective and you have a second choice. So do you want to continue with the original project and fix what you started, which I do a lot, or do you wanna change the project in some other creative direction? So in this case, I decided that I wanted to change my project. I had lost some video footage and I decided that instead of making this Skillshare class, that I would make this YouTube video instead. And secondly, I decided to fall back on something that I've already been enjoying lately. There's no need to reinvent the wheel every time you make art. So I decided to just journal it out. I've been doing a lot of mixed media lately and my journal is a place where I can just test things and I don't have to have them be perfect. So I took my flowers that I painted earlier and put them in a mixed media journal spread. This is something that I'm warmed up to. I've been doing these types of projects a lot recently and I knew that I could take something that didn't work out all that great and make it work in this format. So when you feel stuck, remember that sometimes it's okay to just make art for art's sake and relax. Honestly, the minute I changed directions, I could just feel my whole body change and I felt like I was having fun and that butterfly feeling in my stomach went away and I was just cool. I was just working. And something that I've been using as a little mantra lately is the acronym KISS. Keep it simple smarty. Some people say keep it simple stupid but I don't really like calling myself stupid. I am smart and so are you. By keeping things simple 
We are smart. So if you're feeling overwhelmed, ask yourself, how can I simplify this? How can I have fun, feel accomplished, and not give myself a ton of extra work? So maybe you keep going with your original project, but kind of relax about it, or you can switch it up, or maybe you decide to edit down your supplies or even just do some light prep work, like cutting out a bunch of butterflies or organizing your storage. Whatever you do to get back on the horse, I promise you'll feel better than quitting and being mad at yourself for the rest of the day. And think about this, in horse training, the reason you're supposed to get back on the horse after getting bucked off is because it trains the horse that they can get away with misbehaving. But if the rider dusts themselves off and gets back on, the horse will learn that bucking is not going to work. And it's the same with our ego. It can be the negative voice in our head that wants to buck us off of a project because it's afraid of the unknown. And we have to learn to train our minds that quitting is not the answer or else we may never tame our fears. And some people quit making art for decades because they decide they couldn't do it. And remember, it takes practice and an open mind. So get back to it and you'll be glad you did. If you would like help, I think I have like 23 classes on Skillshare that you can check out to help with the process. If you're stuck, I recommend my class, Overcome Artist Block and Regain Your Creative Power. And I have many other acrylic and mixed media classes for you to enjoy. I'll leave links to those down below. And also, because we're talking about spring and flowers, I have several floral paintings in my shop right now which are ready and waiting for a new home. Or you can just go by and have a closer look to see some of my more successful floral paintings because I promise I can paint florals, <laughs> just not this particular week. So one other announcement, I'm just gonna put it out there that I'm trying to get to 1,000 YouTube subscribers so that I can monetize my channel. And once I pass 1,000, they let me make longer videos and I can earn some revenue from YouTube, which would be incredibly helpful I put a lot of effort into these, so I hope you enjoy them. And I would really appreciate it if you would hit subscribe. Thank you so much for joining me. I love you all. I hope you have a great week. Happy creating and much love.